Hello. I don't I don't know many of you. I don't recognize too many faces, but those that do know me know that I cooked for many, many years for the Osage people. And I loved every minute of it. Except and I got I got a lot of stories I could tell, but I'm just gonna tell this one. So I was always there, you know, everybody was always telling me about the, you know, and the dear lady and the different things. And I'm a believer. You can make me believe. So anyway, we were camping at Gray Horse during the dances. And uh, everybody was leaving, you know, and we were getting ready to get our beds out and get ready to settle in. And so we walked up to the shower to take a shower. Well, the, the friend of mine that was there cooking with me had finished, and she said, well, I'm gonna go back to camp. And I said, okay, I'll be, I'll be right there. So I finished showering, you know, my shower, and I, and I was always told, you'll never look them in the eyes because they'll drive you, you know, they'll call you and drive you. So I, I remembered that, but, so I got through with my shower and I was headed out the door and there's a little old lady standing there. She wasn't about this tall. She had a black shawl kind of hunk, hunked over. And I remembered that don't ever look them in the eyes, and so I didn't. So I went on and I could feel her behind me. So I kept walking and kept walking. You know where the gravel there separates the Husky Camp and the, the Arbor. So I just as I stepped on that gravel part, I was going to look back to see how close she was. Well, when I turned around and looked, that hill where that big tank, this little old lady had ran, was run, had run down that hill, and just as I turned around and looked, she jumped that fence by, I mean, she cleared that fence by this much. And so I got back to camp, and I was telling my friend there, and she said, oh my God, what'd you do? I said, well, I just got to camp. I, I was hurrying, you know. Well, her brother was sleeping in the car. We, we had a little tent, or a camper, and then my car. Well, about five o'clock that morning, he comes beating on the door, beating. God, you guys, guys, let me in, let me in. So I rushed to the door. We never said a word to him about what happened to me. We went, okay, what's wrong, Eddie, what's wrong? He said, God dang, he said, I, he said, I heard something out there, and I opened my eyes. He said, girl, stop looking in the window like this. He said, I, I, I had to come. Well, the next day, we started talking about this story, you know, and. I said, well, did you look at her feet? And I said, no way, no way, no way. But anyway, I got several, several more stories that I could tell you, but I'll tell you one more that uh, in Harmony, we were cooking down there. Everybody had left. That's when uh, Eli had the drum and uh, Eddie and Maddie, we were all cleaning up and man, it started lightning and thunder and I mean, just storming like, the wind was blowing and Eddie said, come on, you guys, we gotta get to safety. So we ran down the road to, he had a cousin that lived there. He was beating on the door, beating on the door. And we was trying to get in, get out of the storm. And it was, it just turned cold. And then we were just beating on the door, beating on the door, this hot, I mean, just like, felt like you stand by the fire and the wind blew and that, I mean, just hot. So she, his cousin finally lets us in, turns on the TV. There was nothing on TV about the storm. Nothing. So after the storm's over, we go back down to the camp. The porta potties are all turned over. The bowls are all out of the shelves, and uh, but there was nothing up in town. Nothing. Well, we had camped there before, and we kept telling everybody that we heard a little a, a peony drum down the street, you know, down that. And Eddie said, "Well, I believe you now." So, but, yeah, I have a lot of stories I could tell, but I'm not going to really go into. Because I was always told not to talk about it. But I wanted to share that one story with you, so thank you.